Lizzie got this for him for his first New Year's Eve. Yeah. Say something. Same old time. It's gone. What? Old Ty would have lied and covered it up and then would have lied about covering it up. Look, I I'm not happy about what you did with that woman and and that boy, but I know how desperate you were, and I know that you wouldn't have that little boy right here in this kitchen now if you hadn't have done some of the things that you had to do. I know how painful all of it was for you. Todd, look at me. So when you say that this is over, I don't see it that way. I think it's... It's just the beginning for us because you were honest with me. I turned our report into the guys on the night shift. Good job, Sadie. Thanks, sir. Well, as of now, I am off duty. Me too. I gotta go. I'm not asking you to share your secrets with me, Natalie, but the, uh, get it off your chest box, right over there. I'm fine. Okay, I love this, too. Well, thank you. Well, good. It's all set. Nigel is going to watch Shane and Matthew, and Matthew is totally excited. What kind of babysitter's name's Nigel? The butler kind. Awesome! <laughs> and you, Miss Cinderella, are going to the ball. Oh, my God. How fun! <laughs> Mrs. Davidson, yeah. Commissioner Buchanan is here to see you. Oh, thank you. Hi, Hi Ricky. Hello, Gigi. Shane, good to see you. Hi. Bob Buchanan, this is Charlie Balsam. Charlie Balsam, hi. What, have we met? Uh, no, no, it's just that uh, I'd heard, um, well, Rex Balsam, I know, same last name, I, you know, never mind. I no, just forget. It's okay, uh, it's true. Charlie is Rex's father. I see, well, Rex is a good friend of mine, and uh, he's a great kid. I think the world of him. Maybe sometime you and I can have a talk here. Sure. Whatever. Okay. All right. Well, Vicky, I do need to uh, talk to you alone. Oh, okay. Lois, would you mind uh, taking Gigi upstairs to the big hall closet and help her pick out a gown for the ball tonight? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You know something? Maybe I could bring Shane over to wherever she's staying. Oh, would you? That would be great. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Bo, uh, Shane's going to stay with Matthew tonight. You don't mind, do you? No, no, no. Of course not. <laughs> okay. I'll call you later, okay? You don't need to call, Mom. I'll be fine. <laughs> it's very easy to find. You can make a left out of the driveway, go to the end of the road, make another left, and the end of that road. Okay. You can't miss it. It's Asa Buchanan's mansion. Jane, it's enormous. Much bigger than this house. It's sweet. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Shall I take you upstairs, Gigi? 
Okay, yeah, sure. Let's find me a gown. <laughs> That's her. Got some bad news. Allison Perkins, she escaped from St. Anne's. You'll find out everything you need to know when I'm ready to tell you. Doesn't anybody believe in the clothes sign around here? I'll get rid of whoever it is. Hey. Hey, Roxy. Hey, you're off the hook. We're here to pick up Bree. Where's she? Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next One Life to Live. I think I may have misjudged some people. I hired Mary J. Blige to perform. Star's gonna love it. How would she get past security? She had help. Where's our daughter, Roxy? Watch weekdays on ABC, weeknights on SoapNet.